Well, hello, everybody. We're a little late today on this Thursday, but, you know, that's my fault. It always is my fault. I'll always Never. say it's my fault. <laughs> you know, it's just whenever we can get this thing going and, you know, we, we want to bring good content. That's the most important thing for us. Yeah. And we're not always going to just talk about rates and what the Fed did, that kind of stuff. But today, um, Bobby, you want kind of want to talk about um, home sales, which is a great thing to talk about. And, it, yeah. you know, new homes. Um, I kind of want to go over where we're at, and then we're going to talk about some other things like what happens when you're buying a new home. But you, you want me to do the numbers real quick and we can move on? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, one of the reasons why we want to discuss this is because now that they're actually building homes again, people have questions about this. So I figured who better to ask than the expert? When are they coming in? The, the homes? <laughs> the <laughs> oh, expert. Yeah. Oh, the expert. Yeah, scheduled for tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, just checking. Yeah. All right. So the numbers right now that came out, I think the numbers came out yesterday, I think it was, and new home sales, which they looked at December, right? They were up 12% compared to, you know, year over year. So basically they're on sch schedule for 811,000 annual pace. I don't think that's enough homes to be built yet. And we need 2 million a year, um, which is stronger than we had. But as you, you're you going to see that they revised the November number down, but it was still up 9%. Um, year over year, though, they're down 14%. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that they just can't build them, right? So most of the sales that are happening right now are sales that are not, what they call homes not started, meaning that they're, they can't even tell you when they're going to start. So the the issue with that is, and it was one of our clients that we had um, that I referred to you that basically they wanted to buy a new home, but they couldn't tell them when it would be ready. And they wanted, they wanted them to sell their house and rent. It's like, but they don't want to do that. And that's what we're running into right now um, with this. They can't tell you when they don't want to do it contingent because they don't have to. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about today. But I wanted to go over, if you don't mind, pending home sales real quick, because yeah. uh, that came out today. And basically the the pending home sales, actually, this is what we kind of talked about on Tuesday, how the numbers are skewed. You know, um, Mark Twain says there's lies, damn lies, and then statistics. And if you look at the statistics, it shows that they actually pending home sales dropped in December by almost 4%, which is weaker than expected. And then sales are down almost 7% year over year. But a couple little things, it's still strong, but the issue was in December, we had Omicron issue. We had record low inventory, right? Record low inventory. Are we hearing that? Yeah. If there were more homes for sale, there would be more sales. And this is what I'm talking about, statistics and lies. And you can manipulate things. I have another book. It says how to how to win with statistics, how to lie with statistics. Basically, you can get the numbers you want to make it work. And I'm not saying that. But right here, I want to put this right here. If there were more homes for sale, there would be more sales. So what does that mean? Right now is the best time as a seller, as somebody trying to sell their home. You're never going to have a better time than right now to sell your home. Yeah, and, and right now we're we're seeing homes even in the the four ninety to to five fifteen range, with multiple offers. You know, right. so there there's is such a competitive buyer. You know, a seller's market out there. The buyers are just fighting each other, and um, it's the it's the house. There are no homes. We need more yeah. homes. So, and I had a little graph. I'll just I don't. And do we need it? In it? Uh, what the heck? We'll just add it in, um, just to show the pending home sales numbers. So, if you look back in July, right. We're at 110, then we're at August 119, September 116. October was a great month for pending, um, and then November, and then December. So overall, it's not a bad month. I no, mean, numbers really are good. pending homes are back. The problem is if there were more homes, well, I kept on the screen for a reason. If there were more homes for sale, there would be more sales. So if you're a seller and you're thinking about selling, now is the time you're going to get the most you can get for, I mean, I can't say the most you're going to get to, but if you have, if your house has issues, it's not going to have an issue, right? That's any time in history that you wouldn't have to do something would be right now. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the offers are the, the way they're making them more competitive is by waiving sometimes all contingencies up front. Yeah. I have right now a, a bunch of them that way, or yeah. it's such a small time frame. Um, you know, the issue that you run into, like um, people are like appraisal done in 12 days, right? Well, normally that's not a problem, but on a VA, we have no control over the appraiser. Appraiser yeah. has by contract with VA, once they see the house, up to seven days to turn in that appraisal. I'm not saying they're going to do that, but that's basically, and we still order that through the VA portal. So there's stuff that we still outside, but I can still close loans in nine days on a purchase. 
and a lot of other people can too. And that's as long as you get a property inspection waiver, yeah. right? Anybody can do that. So anyway, that's it for this. And we'll go back to the, back to the show. All right. So let's talk about new home sales. What we, we saw some clients running into. I'm yeah. just going to throw out one of them. So I referred someone to you that look, what I was talking about that was looking to buy a new home sale and we won't say where it is, but it's in our area. Mm-hmm. And the one thing that shocked me the most, and I've run into this a few times, is solar, right? It's by law, all new homes in California have to have solar on it. So I thought it was included in the purchase price. It's one not. That, yeah, yeah I, I would think, okay, it's part, you know, you have to have, a lot, you know, smoke detectors. They don't say that you go buy your own smoke detectors and put them in yourself. Right. You know, that's what I uh, strap your water heater. You got to do it yourself. That's extra. That's an extra cost. That's part of the price of the home. Yeah. Why is the solar not? So one of the issues that we run into is that could be another twenty five thousand dollars, you know, and, and are you going to lease it? Or are you going to buy it? And as we know from being in the business, it's better to buy the solar than to lease the solar. Yeah. Um, one, because when you go to sell it, that's a positive thing for the, the seller. I mean, the buyer to buy the house with already there and they own it. Where if you lease it, they have to transfer the lease. They have to qualify. And a lot of times these companies tell you that you can take the lease with you, which we just found out with our clients right now. The new home build said, no, we want to have our people install it and put it on, not your people. And so they want them to get a brand new solar. So one of the questions that that people have had, some some builders will go, if you use our lender, we'll give you $10,000 off the price of the house. Uh, that's an incentive, right? Well, they're not by law. They can, they're not supposed to do it on FHA or VA by by under those programs. Only conventional. Yeah, because those you can't incentivize the people to do something in the government programs. They still do it because no one catch, it says anything. But what I'm saying is, if you have a solar thing, one of the issues is, can you add it to the purchase price? Nine times out of ten, no. But if they're going to give you ten thousand off, well, can't you add part of it in, and then they give you that ten thousand towards the solar? Right, keep the sales price the way it is and help you out on the solar. Uh-huh. They're not going to do that because that's actually money out of their pocket. I will do that. I will help you on that scenario where if you have to buy because you're gonna have to buy the solar, instead of the getting the ten thousand from this from them to drop the sales price, leave that the way it is, and I will help you through getting the solar part of it through the loan when we do the loan. All right. And I'm not going to say how much I'll do on a live video because it's a case by case basis, meaning yeah. that if there's if one place is given 10,000 or another place is given five, I'm not going to give you 10 if they're giving you, five. you know, what I mean, it's what yeah. whatever they come up with, we'll work it out to where we can actually use some of the proceeds that we get to help you with your solar costs. because And then that's so much cheaper for you because how are you going to do that? I mean, if it's another twenty five thousand dollars, that's another loan on side of it. Right. So. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's that's the thing about uh, new construction. A lot of times is they don't tell you, oh, OK, well, if you don't want carpet throughout the whole place, that's an extra 15,000, you know, and there's always these extra added costs. Mm-hmm. I think just going through you is, is really the best way to do it. Right. And and a lot of people will go just put the bare minimum, the cheapest stuff in there because I'll update it later, uh-huh. which a lot of people go, what? And, and you're like, yeah, because it's so much cheaper to buy that stuff after the fact and put it in yourself. Put the cheapest linoleum in, put the cheapest carpet in, put the cheapest whatever. And then you come back and you have hardwoods put in throughout and it's so much more, less ex- expensive. So I, I dealt with that years back with the with the new build. Um they, they wanted to have engineered wood floors put in, but it wasn't part of like the package when they were having it built. So what they did was they put down the carpet, but they didn't glue down the pad. They put in the tile, but they didn't grout it because they said, basically, we have to have a covering in here, you know, that, that's to spec to what we sold you, but you can come in and remove it as soon as you get the keys. And right. that's, that's what they did. Sort of bust and tile the day they got keys. <laughs> And that's the thing is you have to do what's best for you, not what's best for the builder, not what's best for the agents involved in the transaction, not what's best for the lender. You do what's best for you. And that's what I do. I do what's best for the client, not what's best for me. Yeah. Um, Because when I find out when we do what's best for the client, that works out to being what's best for us. Absolutely. Long term, doing doing the right thing is always going to bring you more business. And your text last night, I started laughing with your text, what you said to me about what those what your clients were saying. Yeah. Hey, they, they, they just kept talking about how much they liked you. Yeah. Well, you know, I you either love me or hate me, you no know, in between. <laughs> well, they because, love you. Oh, thanks. Cause, and just like you being prior military, we're direct. This is how it is. This is what we can do. This is what we can do. We don't 
you know, go around it, whatever, or, you know, list, take what you say and then go figure it out and come back to you weeks later and tell you something yeah. different. We're going to tell you right then and there. All right. So that I want to be able to do that, but this is what you're going to find out. And that's what we do best. So um, that's all I had actually today. I wanted to go over the numbers. I wanted to go over a couple of things about the solar and the fact that they will ask you to use their lender and get pre-approved by their lender, which is you can get the pre-approval by their lender because they're, they're going to make sure you do that. It doesn't mean you have to use their lender and you have to run the numbers to see if it makes sense to use their lender or if it's better to use your own lender. And nine times out of 10, it's better to be your own lender because I was taught one thing by my dad. The first thing I learned is life's not fair. So basically nothing's for free in this world. There's always a cost. Yeah. Yeah. No, no I appreciate you going over this because though we don't have a ton of new bills right now, I know they're slowly starting to build. And so these questions are going to come up more and more. Well, what's going to happen is half of the stuff out there, instead of 15% of the market being new built, eventually it's going to be 50% because existing home sales are going to go down because people aren't going to sell them because of the fact of where their interest rates are. Ran into this last week talking to somebody. He's like, I'm in that situation. I want an extra bedroom for my kid that's coming, but it's going to cost me so much money, 750 bucks more a month for that extra bedroom. It's not worth it. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. And so yeah. that's what people are in. So that we've actually made people stay in their homes because of the interest rates we've given them. However, when the recession hits in a year or so, look, if you're thinking about doing it, you'll probably do it at that point because I think rates will be much lower than they are or yeah. we've ever seen. That's my prediction. Well, I guess we'll find out here. Huh? Yeah, so. I could either be right or wrong. Yeah. There's no other way around. 50-50. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. All right. Thanks for being here today, everybody. Bobby, thanks for filling in today and being here. I don't mean filling in. I guess you're here all the time now. Um, so I appreciate that. And if you Thank guys you. have any questions, you have want any need to know anything at all, reach out to us, text us, um, message us through here. And if you have a question, just go, hey, I want to know about this and we will do a show on it. So if you have those questions, please let us know. Please comment. If you see Bobby out in town, run up to him, say, hey, Bobby, I see you on this. This is what I'd like to know. And he'll, we'll do a show on it. And same with me. If you, you know, when we do the radio, you can always yeah. let us know through radio or whatever, and we'll take care of it again. Thanks for being here today. And if you like what we do, just comment and share and thanks, follow. Ed. Thank All you, right. sir.